down here at the shop. We're about to enter. It's my brand new key that my uncle gifted me. That's big news. Now we don't have to like wait an hour or something for someone to get home and for us to get into the shop. All right, so what we have to do today is get this thing rolling so that we can get it out of the shop and like down in the gravel or some shit. It's super nice here in Washington and my uncle's trying to drive his Buick, so. Yeah, we gotta make the front wheels roll. We also have to get the rear wheels on the uh, hubs without spacers. Because mm. the spacers are on my Corolla now. So this might be kind of difficult, but I'm sure we can do it. <laughs> A lot of people suggested that um, we try loosening the hub nut on these front wheels. I think that might be the issue. <laughs> Dude, maybe we should never go back to the old lens. This feels like a, like a documentary. Dude, once we get the gimbal on it, it'll be fucking... Oh yeah. The rear wheels, we didn't need to put a spacer on for them to fit. They just clear the calipers on their own. Now we just gotta drop this and get the jack on the front end and try to figure out why the wheel is binding. And I've had... <laughs> is that all the way down? Yeah. <laughs> Quentin just jam that stick under the car and leverage the car in the air. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, you know, I got a feeling that's not the problem. Maybe unbolt the caliper and then put the wheel on and see if it still does it. Cause then we can roll out the brakes. It's not that, it's definitely something to do with the brakes. Yeah, if all else fails, we can just- We just do this, but yeah. yeah. Okay, so we have everything fully tightened on to the point where it's immobile. And we looked everywhere, the uh, the pads aren't contacting the rotor at all, so it's not the pads. We have no wheels on, so there's no way that it's not clearing the calipers. And it still is totally immobile. And it's not the hub, because we took the brakes off and put the wheel on, and it spun freely. Good thing about it is there's not even a motor in it. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna wait for another day. I'm gonna yeah. back this thing out. No brakes. And pull the Corolla in and show you guys what we did. Also, I got a couple things to do with Corolla. First thing to note about the Corolla is how, well, while it's out here, we can tell how nice and shiny it is thanks to Grio's garage. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just an exhaust like heat shield. So before we went to the meet, there was a couple things I had to do to the car to make it even like worthy of driving there. Clean the shit out of it because it had not been clean since we got back from the trip. So it was mad grimy. And then another thing that's been really bothering me is uh, fenders that were on it before. These ones right here. What I did was grab my old fenders, the ones that came on the car that are the OEM metal ones. And I cut off the flare from the fiberglass ones and mounted it to the metal ones. Uh, the reason for that is because the original ones are all fucked up. Yeah, you're probably gonna ask me why I would drill into nice uh, metal fenders, but these were not nice. They're like real fucked up. So that's the reason I never ran these and that's the reason I bought these, but these never ended up really fitting very well. So it didn't like, didn't like how it looked. So this is probably like a temporary thing, but I think it looks way better because the body lines match up way better and purple all the way across the car now. While I was doing the fiberglass stuff, I was like, dang, what if I just made these side skirts from like, from my 240 fit, and I mounted them up, and I was like, dang, that actually looks pretty sick. So I'm gonna show you guys that looks like. So the only way that these would fit is if you were to cut this away, because on a 240, this part's way bigger. But otherwise, they seemingly fit decent. Um,
Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, this got me thinking about how sick the Corolla would look with side skirts. And then I was like, I don't really want to cut up these, these side skirts because these are for my 240 and they're still nice and like not shitty yet. Cut up one of the side skirts that was on the new 240 that I got that are actually pretty shitty and it didn't go very well. So I'm glad I didn't use these. If you're trying to convert 240 side skirts to A6, I don't recommend it unless you're like body work dude. It's kind of harder than I thought. It's more than just cutting this. The lift that comes up and goes into the door jam is designed for a 240, so it just doesn't really work with an A6. But it kind of got me like hyped to get side skirts, so I hit up some guy on Instagram who's gonna sell me some, and I'm gonna pick those up pretty soon. Once I get side skirts, I'm gonna start looking for a bumper, and then once I get a bumper, I'm gonna try to paint it. It's gonna be fucking sick. I'm also looking for uh, front flares, so if anyone knows about that, Hit me up. Like I said, those are just a temporary thing. But like, I'm super hyped on the A6 right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it earlier, but uh, there was a bit of a rattle, like on D cell and like sometimes at idle. It's really, really annoying. Like it sounds horrible. Um, so it's just the heat shield on the exhaust down there. So we might have to wait for it to cool unheat. Unheat. <laughs> that's what it does to take it off. But we're just gonna take that off and listen to it run without that ugly ass rattle. But yeah, we were just talking about um, just bullshitting and I'm just like super excited about this car now. I want to get new coilovers for it so I can like plan is to get like a quarter inch smaller spacer. I think this is an inch spacer in the rear right now so that I can lower it to the rim here and then do the, get the same spec size tire or wheel in the front. So uh, 14 by eight, I think this is negative 15 or something like that and do the same thing in the front and then get some proper flares and just dump the shit out of this thing with some side skirts and a rear bumper look fucking sick it would and that's really not too unattainable or far off in the future this is the perfect little ratchet for this oh shit this isn't gonna work <laughs> This is Quentin's uh, favorite breaker bar. It's about 30 miles long. Yeah, we're gonna see what's gonna go. <laughs> There's half oh, of it. That's how. Oh, bolty break -o. <laughs> okay, So there's one more bolt. Oh. Starter up. Hell yeah. That only took like an hour. That was a bitch. God. <laughs> I was like, we're just gonna do one little thing to the crawler today. Take five minutes. Start her up, dude. There's a, a socket on your short tower. Start her up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not only the back rattles. Yeah. That's fun. Alright, let's clean it up. Yeah. 